Zainab is an Egyptian mother with a daughter of eight years, the age at which the overwhelming majority of Egyptian girls undergo female genital mutilation, or FGM. For Zainab, this is simply out of the question. Subjected to the procedure when she herself was a child, Zainab wishes to spare her daughter the trauma. It's a part of the body that God created and it shouldn't be altered. It should be left as God created it. She disagrees with her husband on the subject. He wishes to carry on a tradition which is firmly anchored in Egyptian culture. He said he'll take her to the doctor, and if the doctor says she must be circumcised, then we'll do it. If the doctor said it's not necessary, then we won't. Zainab has the support of the Egyptian government, which has, in effect, banned the practice and launched educational campaigns to prevent it, efforts which have gained UNICEF's praise. But traditions are not easily abandoned, and FGM is still widely practiced throughout the country, even if it now must be performed in secret. It is principally to midwives whom Egyptians turn to circumcise their daughters, a simple operation which Umm Mahmoud has practiced for almost 15 years. I take the razor like this, and then I spray a bit of anesthetic on the area. It's a very small, thin part, really very, very thin. Then I cut quickly, in one second, just like this, so as not to cause the girl any pain. For Umm Mahmoud, female genital mutilation is a tradition which safeguards a young girl's virtue. People circumcise their daughter so that she will be respectable, so that she will not get aroused and go with just any old man. Zainab is not depending on an operation to protect her family's honor. It's her education that will make the difference. To protect her, a girl should be properly educated rather than cutting off parts.